Hello, thank you guys so much for clicking this video today. I really appreciate it. This is actually gonna be a very important video. MinSwap's uh, smart contracts, the you know the ADA was drained. All of the tokens that are in these original MinSwap contracts, it's all been drained. And uh, they've actually been put into new contracts. And the reason I say this video is important is because I want to you know show you guys uh, that this was one of the big risks that you know I warned you about in my last video about MinSwap about farming. I said be very careful. Never use more than you're willing to lose because these are all new technologies. There's a lot of new stuff happening here. And unfortunately, that's what happened. There was a vulnerability found and the funds were drained. So that's what this video is gonna be about. I recommend you staying till the end. If you guys enjoy it, make sure you click the like button, comment down below, uh, notification bell. It really does support the channel. Let's jump right into it. So very briefly, what is MinSwap? MinSwap is, you know, the second DEX, at least that I cared about, that was launching on Cardano. There were a lot of, you know, perks to it. The first thing that they did that was incredible was the way that they incentivized token pairs. In my opinion, they incentivized token pairs a lot better than Sunday Swap. Me personally, I wanted to buy some Donna, no financial advice. And when I went to go buy Donna on Sunday Swap, because there was such little liquidity, it was very hard for me to transact. It was very expensive. You got this thing called slippage. You know, if there's only, let's say, you know, a hundred thousand uh, dollars worth of tokens in there, and you want to buy, you know, say a thousand or five thousand dollars worth of tokens, you raise the price. Uh, but what MinSwap did to account for that was instead of just incentivizing the top three pairs that they did partnerships with, on Sunday Swap it was you know World Mobile, uh, it was Sunday Token, and also cards, and it, and I just didn't like that. They didn't incentivize enough. Whereas Men. They actually had a lot of different pairs incentivized. Donna, World Mobile. I mean, I think there was like 15 total that were actually incentivized through this. And because of that, they got a lot more liquidity very early on. I'm still looking at the liquidity right now, and it's at 200 million TBL. And you know, Sunday Swap is at 107 million. The one day change on MinSwap is minus 3%. MinSwap rose essentially from the bottom using the incentives that they had for liquidity, they amassed the highest TVL ever on Cardano. My team and I are hosting the largest ever Cardano community event. This event is gonna be in person, it is gonna provide a great education and networking opportunity for anybody in the Cardano community. It's on the 14th and 15th of October in Denver, Colorado. It's at a hotel, convention, and resort center. It's in a beautiful place. You can see the mountains, we are going to have a blast. We're gonna be celebrating, networking, and educating. And I'd love for you to be there. You can book your stay now. Make sure you do it through us. The hotel prices are cheaper through us. You can also get your tickets. They're available now, but be careful. Uh, early bird pricing is gonna be up soon. We have a lot of special guests right now. We have Singularity Net, Ben Gortzel, Singularity Dow, New Net, IOG, Sunday Swap, Claymates, Charlie Three, Liquid, Ada Handle, NFT Maker, Token, Drip Drops. Everybody's coming, Genius Yield. And I can also confirm that we added Ardana and Orbis today as well. So we got a lot of great guests coming, more being added every day. It is going to be a blast, but we need you to come. So if you have any questions, comment down below, join the Discord, join the Telegram, and let us know. Decentralized exchanges on Cardano and, and really any chain, they all use smart contracts. And smart contracts, you know, while they're smart, that doesn't mean there's no risks or vulnerabilities in these contracts. And oftentimes what protocols and projects and companies do is they pay for a third party audit. They say, hey, you know, we've built this protocol. We want you to look over the code as a secondary source of vulnerabilities. You know, you look over it, see if there's anything wrong. You know, they did. They actually had somebody look at the contract called Twig, put the actual names on screen here. And they reported back and said, yeah, there's no problems here. So then on March 19th, MinSwap actually came out and said, we are proud to announce that our smart contracts and audit are now open source, verifiable, and available on our GitHub. And a lot of people in the Cardano community were very excited about this. It's almost at you know 2,000 total likes because you know we built, so this is essentially what they're saying is, look, we built something, we're proud of it, you know, we're very confident on it. So here are all of our smart contracts, all of our code, 
uh, you know, just saying here, you know, if you guys want to use this to build your own projects or protocols, you can. If you find any issues, feel free to reach out to us. So then three days later, MinSwap tweeted from their Twitter account, please note that the DEX features will be slow for an hour. Currently, we are fixing some issues that some of you were facing and upgrading for a better experience. We're working hard to finish this as soon as possible. Thank you for your patience. So, you know, not a big deal. Sometimes things happen. This is a new product. Later, and this is actually March 23rd, they said the DEX is on maintenance mode. We've detected an issue and we are already have safeguards in place. We are rewriting, testing, and deploying those fixes. We are taking this very seriously and we will have more QA rolling out. We will elaborate more in a post-mortem in the following days. The current estimate is 24 hours. Thank you for your patience. Your funds are safe. We've extended the LBE NFT boost for the men A to pair for an extra two days. Thank you for your patience. So that's, you know, starting to be a little worrying. They release, you know, their contracts. They open source all of them a few days before. And then a few days later, the DEX actually shuts down and goes in maintenance mode. You know, at this point, people are starting to freak out. You know, some people put way more than they could afford to lose in there, knowing that these smart contracts are new, although they've been audited, Cardano's still new. There hasn't been a lot of problems worked out in these smart contracts. So, you know, this is really the Wild West. So here's another tweet from them. And this is on the 24th. This is a day later. We would like to inform you that we have now migrated to an improved and more secure smart contract. Your LPs and farm positions will appear gradually during the next 24 hours. Thank you for your patience. And then they link a new smart contract address. And this started to get a lot of people worried because how does that make any sense? You have a smart contract. And the way a smart contract works is the only people that should be able to withdraw the value from that smart contract are the people with the LP tokens, the people that have the ability to use their keys to sign to withdraw the value. You know, MinSwap shouldn't have the option or the ability to withdraw money from a contract. You know, in a decentralized exchange, if there's a hundred million dollars locked up, then nobody should have the ability to take that one hundred million dollars. I mean, that would make it not, you know, decentralized. That would make it centralized. So seeing that they actually withdrew all of these tokens and put them into another contract had some people worried, you know, how did this happen? How, how did you have the ability to even do that in the first place? Something that you should not have been able to do. So MinSwap then posts another tweet on the 24th. And in this tweet, they state that the MinSwap decks went into maintenance node for 50 hours. And as of now, all vulnerabilities discovered have been addressed. And they release a longer article that goes through all these vulnerabilities. I recommend checking it out here. Uh, it'll be in the description down below. And, you know, as I mentioned earlier, how do they even have the ability to migrate this liquidity? So this is a quote directly from them. We feel it is important to clarify that the MinSwap team cannot migrate liquidity as its own will from one smart contract to another. Liquidity was migrated to a new smart contract because a vulnerability was discovered that would allow this to happen. And it was migrated precisely to avoid this exploit from happening. So in a bizarre but fortunate turn of events, the vulnerability and exploiting made it possible to migrate funds into a new upgraded and secure smart contract where this attack vector was patched. Sadly, neither we nor our auditors noticed this bug before implementing the smart contract. So migrating the liquidity was the only solution. Now that this has been fixed uh, and it's been implemented, it is no longer possible for the MinSwap team to unilaterally move the liquidity. So who notified of them of this vulnerability? It was actually the Wing Riders team, another team that is building a DEX for Cardano. And here's a quote directly from MinSwap. We would like to thank the Wing Riders team for their help in notifying us of these vulnerabilities. The Wing Riders team has been compensated with a bug bounty from the Dow Treasury, as is standard in such situations. So the DEX is now back online. It was down for 50 hours, but I think there's a lesson to be learned for everybody in the Cardano community and in the cryptocurrency community. We are, you know, seeing a new frontier of finance, a new frontier of value. And with, you know, new things come bugs, come vulnerabilities, come high risk. And although a lot of these protocols are going to be offering you high rewards, do not FOMO in. 
only offer what you're willing to lose because these haven't been tested, although they've been audited, they haven't been tested by thousands of users at scale over time. And until we are there, you should be uncomfortable putting in more than you're willing to lose into these smart contracts because they're all new. So please be very careful and be safe out there. All smart contracts on Cardano are new. Some of them haven't even been audited yet. So please be careful, even though this has been audited, it still had a vulnerability that allowed them to withdraw all of that money into another contract. And you know, this kind of seems like a good story in a way because they didn't give the money to themselves. I mean, you have this team that, you know, while they're they're not really Anon on Twitter, I know who's building it. They could have just sent all of that money from the contract to themselves. And they didn't. And Wing Riders helped them and ensured that they didn't do that. So I mean this is it really shows, you know, what the Cardano community is. And there was no rug pull here. There was no one else that, you know, exploited that vulnerability. It was another DEX, a competitor that told them about it for them to then fix the issue. And their solution honestly seems pretty smart. Move it all into a new contract, provide the existing LP tokens for users to use, and then voila, problem solved. We have the DEX and it's back up and running. If you want to go withdraw your liquidity or add liquidity, whatever you want to do based on your own decision, you can. The DEX is now up. It is now available. It may lag a little bit because so many people are on there, but they, the problem has seemingly been fixed. Does this mean that there won't be any more problems in the future? No, it doesn't. However, this vulnerability that could have happened in the future has now been fixed. And hopefully this is a learning experience or experience for all devs building smart contracts moving forward because this vulnerability can now be spread far and wide as to do not do this on your decks moving forward. That's the video about MinSwap. Uh, make sure you guys are careful interacting with any smart contracts on Cardano. You have to be safe out there. I don't want you guys to lose your money, especially more than you're willing to lose. Um, again, be safe, love you guys.